hello, and uh, obviously it's not too boring, uh, given the fact that I have 10 minutes and, and food is waiting. I'm not the only journalist in the family. I come from a family of a dozen journalists, and they're all the products of 9-11 uh, uh, generation, what we call. Um, and uh, the family was, as a whole, was behind it, you know, coming from exile, you know, coming from different countries, uh, suffering a lot, you know, during uh, our times, you know, abroad. Uh, we felt the responsibility to do something for the country as a family. And we lost, you know, our dear ones, you know, in the war. So therefore, my uncles and my father uh, were encouraging us to do something more, you know, to go in a business where it gives you a lot of work. You know, you have to work 12 hours a day, you know, you have to do something. It's, it's, it's not a time for, for relaxation, it's, it's time for effort. And part of that and our strength was to do more things in the, in, in the arena of, of culture. And, and media in general. So we started uh, establishing a, a newspaper uh, in Mazar Sharif. Uh, that was where I was raised, uh, and uh, a family newspaper was, uh, uh, was, was, was established and launched, uh, and we were uh, working uh, and running that paper for years, uh, helping university students you know, to improve English, uh, uh, helping them, you know, to get different analysis from different parts of the country, and helping them to connect with people in in in, in the rest of uh, the the country. Because in our view, interactivity, you know, was critical. So uh, uh, we, our aim and our intention was that we have to come out of the isolation and different. Uh, um, islands, you know, that we have in uh, different parts of our country. So the effort was 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 really to you know to to provide information and and, and, and to connect people. That was one. That was the the beginning of my journalistic career. And later on in Moby Group, when I joined in two thousand and nine, and at the moment running uh, the news channel. Uh, I'm more optimistic, despite the ups and downs you know we've had in the past two years, uh, and it makes me optimistic uh, because of the level of uh, engagements and the level of conversation and interaction we see in the society, and the, and and the level of maturity we see in the society, especially among the youth, which which is very critical. So that's that's how. Uh, that's how it made me more uh, optimistic about the future, and uh, 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 you know, running the, uh, a newsroom of uh, about a hundred journalists, uh, meeting with people, uh, with my fellow uh, Afghans who are inspiring, you know, who are giving hope, and who are energetic, and uh, uh, coming with plans and coming with ideas, aimed at further strengthening. Uh, the national dialogue. So, going through the the period of uncertainty now, uh, with 2014 uh, ahead of us, um, I think the youth has a critical role in tackling that. You know, a youth has a critical role to to to, to engage in a national conversation uh, to ensure that you know we make certain and, and and wise decisions, which is critical for our generation and the generation to come. So. That's why I think it's time for all of us to uh, really think about the, every single step we make and uh, you know, how we get out of this uncertainty, how we get out of this environment of confusion, how we get out of you know, this environment of, uh, of lack of trust you know, or a lot of, a lot of question marks you know, we have uh, for ourselves. So uh, with the elections you know, in, in 120 days exactly from today, uh, I, th I think it's going to be the first time voters or the youth or the kids, you know, who went to school in 2004 in our elections and voting in 2014 for the first time are changing the political landscape and the political calculations in our country. So that's, that's how, you know, we have, we have a future for ourselves and we have a future, you know, for, for the other generations to come. And that's how we, and that's why we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility as a generation. Uh, to, uh, 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 to to work harder, you know, to understand uh, to, to understand, you know, what we do. Uh, 
part of this belief in, in the youth I have has led me to be involved in a lot of youth activities. One is uh, being a member of uh, an Asia Society uh, uh, fellowship program, uh, Afghan Young Leaders Initiative, where uh, I meet with uh, 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 youth activists from different walks of life, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so honored to have a couple of them in the audience today, um, where we discuss, you know, how we, can, how we can change things, you know, simply, you know, how we can influence policies, you know, how we can influence big decisions, you know, made by the government, and how we can influence policies by an international community, for instance. Um, so as a group of uh, professionals coming from different walks of life, you know, I'm the only journalist in the group, you know, uh, economists, uh, uh, environment acti activists, the civil society activists, government employees, all together, uh, we, we had position papers uh, and policy papers for major conferences like the Bonn in 2011 and Tokyo and Chicago, and recently one for the lawyer Jirga. And the intention for that position paper was to ensure that the Afghan people and the Afghan government, as well as you know, our international partners, hear our voice, and especially the voice of uh, our generation. So that's why I think it's important for the youth to get together. It's important for the youth to build networks. And those networks are basically the strongest foundations you know, we, can, we can make for our future. Uh, and the attendance you know, I see here today, you know, mainly youth, it really shows the interest of the youth for networking. You know? The interest of youth for, 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 for caring about the future, for, for caring about you know, uh, what, what's happening uh, in the country. And uh, they are responsible. I mean, you are responsible for, for your destiny. Uh, one of the conversations you know, we had uh, in, 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 the Asia, uh, in the Asia Society conversation about Loy Jirga was that regardless of whatever decision we're going to make you know, in the Jirga, regardless of, of, of whatever decision we make which allows or, or prevent the Americans to be here post-2014, but taking our destiny, making that decision our own is a success. I think in 2001, you know, when the international community uh, uh, convened uh, uh, in, in, in Bonn, was a different scenario. And in, you know, a decade later in Kabul, when we think about you know, how we want you know, our country to be, you know, how we want our, 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 our society to, to transform, you know, how we want the decade of transformation to, to shape, is, is our decision. So that's why we have to respect our decision. And that's why we have to value our decision and think about our decisions responsibly. So the takeaway um, uh, in this short uh, uh, speech is that we have to build a network across the country where we can have certain uh, circles to, to connect with each other, to hear each other, to uh, develop uh, the culture of tolerance and be tolerant enough you know, to, to learn and of course and to, and to, and to speak and to share. Um, and also to um, ensure that you know, uh, uh, whatever decision you know, we make today is uh, uh, building our future, is our, um, is our decision which determines you know, the way we want to live in the, in, in the future. So in the end, uh, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very hopeful, uh, relying on the, on the youth movements, relying on how the people would turn out in the elections, relying you know, on the first time voters you know, who, would, who, would, who would come out um, and who would uh, prove and show a different Afghanistan to the world. So that's how you see, you see a change. You know, that's a great example of change, you know, we, 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 we've, uh, we've seen in, in, in the past 10 years. So, um, uh, in, in, in my business, uh, 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 as a journalist, that's what I'm trying to promote. You know, that's what I'm trying to, uh, uh, to uh, engage with. Uh, we have, uh, in, in Tolo News, we have most of our programming aligned in, in the election lines. You know, we, we do a lot of programming, you know, uh, with, with youth, of course, you know, with people in different parts of the country and uh, with politicians, you know, we've interviewed candidates and uh, we would like to really engage with them in a the sense that they come with policies and they explain to you what they want to do for the future if, if, if they have your vote. 
So uh, a policy-driven campaign is our goal, and, uh, and that is also because of our, 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 our future, our future as a generation, our future as a nation. So uh, I, th I, think, I think for the youth, it's, it's, a, it's a critical moment, um, and uh, for all of us, it's, it's, it's essential uh, to think uh, responsibly and to act responsibly. Thank you. Thank you.